Hey, it's Joseph here. And as many of us are aware here in the vinyl community, there's a lot of uh, vinyl tags going around. And the one that's caught my attention is Soul Vinyl Tag 2024, brought to us by DJ Vinyl Vertigo. And uh, I thought, well, I don't have the biggest soul collection, but I think I have enough to handle this great vinyl tag. So let's jump right in. Number one, most listened to soul. And as I mentioned in my last video, I'm a big fan of Tower of Power. <clears throat> I've been a big fan since about 1969, or probably around 70 when the first album came out, East Bay Grease. But I've been able to hear Tower of Power live probably about 30 times, especially back in the heyday during the Lenny Williams days. And uh, this, of course, is the Tower of Power album with What Is Hip, their hit, uh, So Very Hard To Go. And uh, as I said, I heard them live many times. One of the best shows I ever saw was uh, at the Long Beach Arena in, in Southern California where uh, Cold Blood and Lydia Pence opened up for Tower of Power with Lenny Williams. Great concert. And Tower of Power is still going strong today, uh, even though their, drum, their drummer, uh, the legendary Dave Garibaldi, recently retired. But I love Tower of Power, love that big horn section, gritty, uh, gritty rhythm section of Dave Garibaldi and the late, great Rocco Prestia. Tower of Power. Next up is most recent album. A couple months ago, I was able to get Sarita. And this is her self-titled album, Sarita. And Sarita, she was married to Stevie Wonder for a while, but she was a great vocalist all in her own, uh, in her own right. And uh, this album is actually produced, I think this is her second album, and it's produced by Stevie Wonder. And it almost sounds like a Stevie Wonder but with a female lead, because Stevie's all over the place on keyboards, and he wrote many of the songs here. Actually, he wrote all the songs. Uh, he do, they do the cover of his song, I Love Every Little Thing About You. Really great take on that. And uh, the only non-Wonder song is, the, she does a very interesting cover of She's Leaving Home. And uh, I really love the sound of her voice, Sarita. She's on a couple of Stevie Wonder albums, too, doing backup vocals, but I really love this album, great find. Next up, Male Soul. Well, this is an easy one because, of course, one of the legends in soul music is the late, great Otis Redding. Of course, he died tragically young. He had that great hit with Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. But this is one of his earlier albums, Otis Blue, Otis Redding Sings Soul. And this is probably the best found, find I have ever found in a Goodwill because I only paid 99 cents for this. And it was still sealed. It's an OG. It's on that uh, Volt, Volt Records label. And it has the, still has the hype sticker. So it says, this LP contains satisfaction. And uh, Otis Redding, yeah, he's a legend. What can you say? Next prompt, Stax release. Well, I went with Eddie Floyd. Many artists on Stax. But uh, Eddie Floyd it was a legend. He had that big hit, Knock on Wood. And this is a really nice album uh, recorded, of course, in, uh, it's, some of it was recorded in Muscle Shoals, and actually one track in Kingston, Jamaica, where he does a little bit of soul reggae type groove. But Eddie's had a long, great career. He's still with us. I think he's 86. I think he even recorded an album about 10 years ago or so. But I always loved the grit and funkiness and beautiful sound of Eddie Floyd. Soul artist not from America, and I went with uh, the great sound of Sade. She's from Nigeria, and uh, this one, of, of course, has her hit, Smooth Operator, Your Love is King. That's one of my favorite, favorite songs by Sade. I love Sade's music so much that my wife and I chose Kiss of Life, a song from one of her other albums, as our first dance when we got married a couple years ago. But uh, it's been, uh, what, 10, 12 years ago. But anyways... Uh, Sade uh, from Nigeria. Just love the sound and sexy smoothness of her voice, Sade. Next up is female soul artist. And I went with Gladys Knight and the Pips. This is Gladys on the Pips and the Pips. This is on Buddha. 
I really need to get more of Gladys on Motown because, of course, that's where she really shined. But don't sleep on the Buddha years because this is pretty good, especially the first couple of Buddha. Of course, this is a best of, and this has uh, the great um, the song a Midnight Train to Georgia. Maybe we've overheard that song, but it also uh, has I've Got to Use My Imagination. So Gladys is still going strong here on Buddha and uh, need to get more of her on Motown also. Next up is Gospel Album by Soul Artists. This is kind of maybe a stretch because this is the best of the Sable Stingers. Beautiful album cover there. Uh, and uh, of course, the, the Staples are essentially were a gospel group to start with and then they branched out into Soul in the 60s, 70s. But uh, this album here is, uh, I believe, a compilation of a VJ album and it's got nothing but gospel. Uncloudy Days, Will the Circle Be Unbroken, Swing Low, just amazing uh, gospel work by the Staple Singers, Pops and Mavis and the, and the other ones. But uh, I was fortunate to see the Staple Singers probably about 20 years ago. Pops was still alive and Mavis was sounding great at the Long Beach Blues Festival. And this is the best of the Staple Singers, some gospel. Next up is... Blue-Eyed Soul. I went with an artist that's not talked about that much, but Billy Vera. Billy Vera, this is called With a Pen in Hand. And he also had an album, this is on Atlantic. And uh, he also had an album with Judy Clay. I haven't heard that one yet, but it sounds like it would be really good. I'll have to stream it. But uh, what I like here is Then You Can Tell Me Goodbye, the old uh, 60s song. Billy has an excellent version of that. Really set, love the sound of his voice. And uh, he's still around. He went on, uh, he had a hit with Billy and the Beaters at this moment where they played it on Family Ties a lot. And uh, he's still, uh, he's making commercials in Southern California for, he's the voice of AM, PM markets. But I love the sound of Billy Vera. So artists, more people should be aware of. Well, of course, everybody's heard of the Supremes. But how about the Supremes after Diana Ross left the group? I think people should really uh, listen to them more, especially with Gene Terrell on vocals. This is Floyd Joy. It has the hit Floyd Joy. And uh, beautiful, uh, I always like the sound of Gene Terrell. Mary Wilson also, who was with the Supremes, of course, with Diana Ross, sings a couple of leads here. This is produced by Smokey Robinson. And like I say, Floyd Joy, fun song. And Mary Wilson sings a great lead on A Heart Like Mine. I also have another uh, After Diana Ross Years album. This is simply called The Supremes, produced and arranged by Jimmy Webb, you know, the great songwriter uh, from the 60s also. He wrote By the Time I Get to Phoenix and MacArthur Park, many other great songs. But here he wrote, he wrote all the material and he produced the album, which is kind of unusual because I think this was the first time uh, an album was produced by a non, basically, Motown producer, Jimmy Webb and the Supremes. And a shout out to I'd Buy That for a Dollar podcast. That's a great podcast where they look at albums that basically you would find in, under for under $5. And they had an episode where they featured uh, Floyd Joy and really brought my attention to the Gene Terrell years. Okay, the next one is... Soul artist featured on a rock album. Well, I'm going back to Tower of Power again. You might recognize this as a Santana album. This is the self-titled Santana album. This, I believe, was their third album. Yeah, third album. And great cover, psychedelic cover. But the sole artist that's featured on here is the Tower of Power Horns. They're not in the picture. This is all the Santana group. But Tower of Power Horns, during this time, were featured on a, uh, on a lot of albums. They, I believe they backed up Alton John, Santana, but they were all over the place, that big, uh, huge sounding horn section. They play on the, the rave, uh, the, the really funky tune, Everybody's Everything with Greg Raleigh on leads, but the Tower of Power horns really punch it along. Tower of Power and Santana. Next up, is a Motown artist, plain and simple. 
Well, I went with Tammy Terrell. I mentioned her in my last video. I love uh, this album. I love the sound of Tammy Terrell. Of course, her great duets with Marvin Gaye, and she left us way too soon, but Tammy Terrell on Motown. Music artist deserving a box set. I wasn't sure if Wilson Pickett had a box set or not. This is the sound of Wilson Pickett. And also, Wilson Pickett, The Midnight Hour, or actually it's The Midnight Mover. But yeah, Wilson Pickett, the legendary uh, soul guy, soul singer. But uh, his albums are pretty easy to come by and they're usually not that expensive. But a nice packaging in a box set with maybe some remastering and of course some notes and history, more history on, on Pickett because he really, truly one of the legendary male uh, soul singers up there with James Brown. He had that scream that could maybe only be matched by, by James Brown. But yeah, well deserving of a box set. If he does have one, let me know in the notes because I looked real quick and I didn't see anything available. Of course, there's a lot of CD compilations, but nothing on vinyl as far as a box set. So who knows, maybe Record Store Day or something someday. Next up, soul act seen in concert. Well, you might not think really of the Chambers Brothers as a soul act because they were very popular in the, in the 60s and mostly kind of known for like a psychedelic soul type sound. They had their big hit. It's on here, The Time Has Come, that's on time with that resonating cowbell. But they really were a soul band also, kind of in the, in the way that uh, Sly and the Family Stone was. They had uh, that, that, ed, that psychedelic edge to them. And I saw them in, I believe, 1980. This, that was, of course, after the heyday. I saw them at the Long Beach Blues Festival. Incredible concert. They closed out the, the festival. And I, it was just the, the brothers and uh, they had, uh, just playing guitar. They might have had a bass, but they had no drums. But it, they were really singing soulfully, a lot of gospel. And uh, yeah, I've always loved the Chambers Brothers. And, their, uh, their um, Columbia albums can be still gotten for a pretty reasonable price. But uh, yeah, they're a mixed bag on here. Uh, they also do, along with uh, their hit, The Time Has Come, they do uh, In the Midnight Hour, they do People Get Ready. Beautiful sounding, they, all, they have that real great gospel sound. Chambers Brothers, Time Has Come, I saw them live. Next up is Jazz record by a soul artist. Well, they don't, they're not the leading artists on this album, but I went with Miles Davis, Get Up With It, Miles. This is a really great album by Miles from the 70s era, Miles. Very funky and spacey, but uh, featured on this album is, of course, the great percussionist who went on with his own band and producing a lot with M. Tume, and Michael Henderson, who went on to his own career, sung with Norman Connors, and also had uh, some great albums on his own. So, Miles Davis and M. Tume on Get Up With It. My favorite cut here is Maisha. Miles sounded so beautiful on that song. Next up is Soul Artist in Group Recording and Solo. I went with Eddie Kendricks, the great Eddie Kendricks. Here he sings Just My Imagination. And a couple, maybe about a year ago, I was uh, able to find a whole bunch of Eddie Kendricks albums at the thrift store. This was just one of them, Eddie Kendricks, Boogie Down. Of course, one of the great voices of all time. I'm gonna have to give the Eddie Kendricks albums more I've listened to. I've really sat down and listened to them that much, but I just love the sound of his voice. Some of them get a little disco-y at times, but yeah, Eddie Hendricks, Eddie Kendricks, I should say, with The Temptations on, on his own. Next up, favorite soul song. I believe I also mentioned this in my last video because it's such an important song to me. Aretha, Aretha's Gold, and she, uh, Say a Little Prayer. I just love the sound of her voice on that song, the production, the background vocals, everything about it. You can just send uh, goosebumps or chills down your spine. But uh, Aretha Franklin singing, I Say a Little Prayer. This one was a little difficult for me. Reggae Soul Artist Relief, because I don't really listen to a lot of reggae, and uh, so I really dug into, the, into my collection, and I found this one, and uh, it's by John Holt. It's called T Time, Time is the Master. 
he apparently he was the lead singer with the Paragons. And here, especially on the title cut, it's really got a soulful groove. It's definitely a reggae song, but the production and the sweet sounding strings and the horns come in in a very soulful manner. Really love this album. I listened to it yesterday. I hadn't listened to it in many years. But Time is the Master by John Holt. And live concert soul recording. Well, I went with the legendary tenor sax player, soul player, Junior Walker. Junior Walker and the All-Stars. This is live. A great album here. Uh, Shake and Finger Pot, I'm a Roadrunner. He does a nice version of uh, uh, Moonlight in Vermont. It's kind of a ballad. Kind of, you wouldn't think of, of uh, Junior Walker playing like a jazz standard, but he does a great job on it. Shotgun. I really like this album. Uh, some of the Motown albums live, I'm not really a big fan of. They Sometimes they do a lot of show tunes and a lot of, a lot of covers that are just not really that interesting. But the energy and the great vibes, beautiful tenor sax, sound of Junior is just amazing on this album. Junior Walker and All Stars live. And the last one as far as albums is Soul Compilation. Love these Motown Soul Compilations. This is one of the great ones. Has many of my favorite songs including Ain't Mo Mountain High Enough, Honey Child, You Keep Me Hanging On, Bernadette, I always liked uh, Junior Walker's uh, version of Come See About Me. And of course, uh, going back to Tammy Terrell, Your Precious Love. I just love that duet with her and uh, Marvin Gaye. Your Precious Love, Reach Out, I'll Be There. Great compilation. Before the age of YouTube and streaming and all that, this was our go-to to get mix, uh, a mixed like uh, bag of songs in one. And I think my sister had this album, or she had one of the other volumes, but these are nice collections. The Big Hits, 16 Big Hits, Volume 9, a collection of originals on Motown. And for the number 20, it says, Favorite Soul Channel. And really that revitalized my interest in soul was watching uh, Craig Danger at Vinyl Record Player. His uh, energy is just uh, outstanding, and he's really excited about soul music. So that energy carried over into to me and I really decided to explore my uh, soul collection because the last couple of years, I've really been focusing primarily on jazz, which I still love jazz. I always will be probably my go-to music, but uh, I've always loved soul since I was a little kid. I used to listen to Wolfman Jack on XCRB in Southern California, and they had a great soul station too, KGFJ. And my sister also was a big fan of soul. She had a lot of 45s. But the other channel that I'll mention is vinyl record player and retro musings. Uh, well, actually, that's uh, uh, Craig Dangers. That's his vinyl record player station uh, uh, channel. But I also enjoy retro musings because uh, she also has a very eclectic uh, mix of music, very knowledgeable in that music. I heard her speak uh, very in depth. Uh, she featured Tower of Power at one point, and she's very knowledgeable of music. And she has a great channel. So, retro musings. But that'll do it for now. That was uh, Soul Vinyl Tag 2024, brought to, by, brought to us by DJ Vinyl Vertical, Vertigo. I'll put up the links uh, to my uh, uh, the, those Souls channels. And uh, that's it for now. Joseph out.